Well, the nights are getting colder, so make sure your furnace is ready to go before you need it. Heating specialists recommend checking the furnace is working well now before you really need it. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier has more. As soon as the weather switches, boy, our phones start ringing. Marking the start of the busy season for companies across the valley, including Galt Heating and Cooling. It's definitely a, a time where everybody's turning on their equipment for the first time and they're realizing it isn't working properly. Technicians I spoke with all say it's important to check the simple things. This includes checking for animal nests in your ductwork and make sure you install new filters and batteries so bigger problems can get fixed before companies are overwhelmed with winter emergencies. There's a lot of thermostats that use batteries in them. And if you're not checking for uh, to see, hey, is the, uh, is the display as bright as it normally is on the thermostat? They say one thing you want to do regularly is change your furnace filter. If you don't change it, it puts stress on your system and actually costs you money in the long run. Put in more stress, it's, it's causing stuff to go out of the limits, causing your evaporator coil to drop below 32 degrees and start freezing if you're running the air conditioner. Just how often you change that filter depends on your furnace and the filter size. Twice a year if you have a four inch um, or if it's a you know one inch filter, I would probably change it three or four times a year. In Hubbard, Abigail Clunier, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.